What's up? It's day 963 in a row of working out. I just worked out and I'm here to talk about it. This is your daily triathlon and training fitness vlog where I talk about my daily workouts, how I'm keeping my streak alive, and don't forget that tip of the day. If you want to skip ahead to the tip of the day, you can look at the comments below. I have the chapters and you can go ahead and skip to that. But first, we're going to talk about the workouts. I had three today. If you follow the vlog, you know that Wednesdays are my hardest day. So I started the day with Alpha Strength class at 6.30 this morning, and uh, it was pretty standard procedure. You know, the way the structure of the class is, you warm up, you then dive into a strength workout, and then you do a Metcon for the remainder of the class. The strength workout, we were working on our power cleans and snatches, and uh I'm still getting used to this power lifting. I haven't really done it too much in my life. Learning the form, keeping it relatively light. I was snatching, what was I doing today? I was doing 105 over my head. I'm 165 pounds, so it's not too bad, but uh, trying to get that form right. And then we did a partner-based Metcon, which was pretty wild. Burpees over the bar, front, front-loaded front lunges. We also did, what are we doing? Front squats and overhead presses. So... We cycled through that. It was a partner based, trying to get as many reps as you can in the time allotted, and that cooked me. But we're on to workout number two right after that, which was a 3,200 yard swim. We hit the pool ice and early before it got too hot. We're in a heat wave here in Dallas, so it's over 100 degrees every day. So I want to get that swimming in before the pool feels like a bathtub. It was a warm up of about 800 yards. It was a 400 and a 400 doing various drills and things like that. And then speed work. It was 1650s on 15 seconds of rest in zone four, followed by a pyramid, a 100, a 200, a 300, and a 400. And those were all in increasing zones. Uh, I'm sorry, decreasing zone. 500, 100 in zone five, 200 in zone four, 300 in zone three and then the 400 in zone three. And then it was a 600 yard cool down, straight pulling. So that's 24 laps back and forth without using your legs. Needless to say, shoulders are feeling nice and live. And then I worked all day. So that leads me to the bike ride I just did. And that's gonna include the tip of the day. We're gonna shift gears here. We're gonna rotate this over so you can see the workout. Let's key in on the workout here. So you can see all these spikes, those are hard output. It was an in interval training session today. And we're going to talk about why that's important in just a second. We basically did three cycles, as you can see there, starting here. This was all warm up and kind of revving those engines. It was 225 watts for two and a half minutes, 240 watts for two and a half minutes, and then 255 watts for a minute and a half, followed by 265 watts for a minute and a half, 145 watts for three minutes, spiked for one minute at 295 watts, two minutes and 30 seconds of rest at 145 watts, and repeated that three times, and then that cycle repeated it three times. I know it sounds like a lot, but you can see graphically that it was very intense and very difficult. Let's talk about the tip of the day. High intensity interval training or speed intervals on the bike are not only fun and challenging, but they're an important part of getting better at cycling. So there's a lot of different benefits that you can get. We'll run through them here. Improved cardio fitness. Just doing zone two, yes, it has its benefits and it should be the majority of your training in endurance sports, but you do need to mix in this type of training as well. That's gonna help improve your overall fitness. The heart rate variations are a really great way to uh, improve that VO2 max. Time efficiency. Obviously, this was a longer one. This was an hour and a half. But if you have a short amount of time, if you're not following any kind of like structured program, interval training is a great way to get the most bang for your buck. You could do it 20, 30 minutes and really rev those engines and get that heart rate pumping and burn those calories, which is another point of increased calorie burn. You know, if you're just doing zone two, low intensity, it takes a while to burn a lot of calories. Whereas you do stuff like this, you are burning those calories. You can also increase your strength and your power on the bike by doing this. It doesn't really 
seem common sense to improve your strength through cardio, but you can by doing this type of training. That heavy resistance really gets the blood pumping in, uh, into those quads and those hamstrings. It really can help increase that strength. Also, this is a, an X factor of doing this type of training that you probably didn't think about, but mental toughness. If you're racing, if you're getting ready for a race, you're going to have to dig into the well is what they call it, that dark place. Find that deep, dark well and really pound, power through it. And doing this type of training really forces you to get in that mindset, to dig deep and really do whatever you can do to find the other side of that workout. That's another reason for it. Performance gains, like we just talked about, that's another really big one because uh, interval training helps increase that VO2 max and your FTP, which is what it's all based off of when you're training. And that's going to help your performance on race day. It also brings a lot of variety and fun. This is an hour and a half, but I wasn't doing the same thing for more than three minutes today. It keeps your mind engaged. It keeps you thinking, and it really makes the time go by quick. And then it helps fight fatigue resistance. It helps create fatigue resistance by buffering. It helps buffer lactic acid, it helps your body buffer that. It's another reason to really dive into high intensity interval training on the bike, get those intervals in. So that's it for today. I went a little long today, but I really wanted to hammer home the importance of doing intensity interval training on the bike. If you, had, if you have Zwift, there's a million workouts that you can just load and do. It's like 15 bucks a month, I think, for Zwift. It's certainly worth the investment. Or if uh, you're just doing them outside, you can just pick arbitrary numbers and just stick to it. Go hard for a minute and rest for three. Go hard for a minute and rest for three. Or if you're on a stationary bike, wherever it may be, give it a try. Let me know in the comments what you think. And I'm going to call it a day here. So day six, uh, sorry, 963 in a row of working out. The streak's alive. I will see you tomorrow for another day of the daily triathlon and training fitness vlog. My name is Goldie. I'm here in Dallas, Texas. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I almost forgot to tell you. We'll see you tomorrow.